Um, what I'm getting ready to do here is I have a Cobra that didn't shed his skin good. So what I he didn't get it all off. So I gotta see to it he gets it off. He's still got the headpiece on and you know, removing the eye caps is really important because um, if you leave them on, it can just really hurt your snake, cause an infection. So what I gotta do is take this snake and put him in this plastic uh, Tupperware container. Uh, one thing that's always worked for me is I take like, uh, like this rock, um, got this thing filled up with water, just enough to completely from to submerge his body. And I'm gonna put the rock in so it's gonna give him something to actually rub up against. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this lid on the top and use these bungee cords to secure it so that way there's no way for this animal to actually get out. When that's done, uh, hopefully it'll be like a day and all he's going to have to do is just, and the skin's going to eventually come off. Uh, that's what we're trying for because there's nothing worse than trying to remove an eye cap from a cobra. Um, not a good idea. Now this is Kobe. Kobe is known, you know, he's sometimes he's mellow, other times he's just a cobra and, you know, he can be really aggressive. So we're going to get him in here. Uh, I got my buddy Dustin. He's going to help me out. So what I want to do, Dustin, is I want to keep the lid just a little bit, like halfway. Yes, sir. So as we get him in here, he's going to want to come up and just push the lid. Watch your hands. Don't put your hands in here. Okay. Okay? Don't. Because, you know, he's going to he'll get into you. So let me get this guy out. Kobe. Now what he's going to do is we're going to keep him in here. We're going to get him all nice and secured. I'm just going to let him soak in here for a while. And a lot of times the water will uh, give him a chance to soak it all right out. It's going to loosen up his skin. Got it. you're gonna be kind of stuck in here and this is actually uh, it's just a really good way to actually get this snake to remove his skin because <laughs> it's, it's spooky when you <laughs> and when you got to try to hit with an eye cap so especially with this animal because they are aggressive all right you're good to go Kobe you are not getting out of here so and if another thing I like doing I like using clear Tupperware containers um, because right now I can look down, I get a whole complete visual of the snake where he's at. I don't like using containers that might have, you know, that, that are white or black or whatever because you can't see down where the snake is. This way I've got a clear view. I can watch, see what he's doing. I can see if the skin came off. So, Kobe, I'm going to set you over here for now. And uh, hopefully you're going to be okay and we'll see about getting all that excess skin off you. Um, it's okay to sometimes they leave it on their body, but the face is really crucial. You want to get it off their face, especially around the eyes. And uh, if you want to, just set them right over here and we'll get busy on these other cages. All right, thanks for watching. All right, here we are. This is the next day. Um, as you saw in my video before this, um, Kobe here had a hard time getting his skin off, which is, you know, a lot of the Cobras will do that. They just have a hard time shedding their skin. Um, it was really important to get it off his head because it was actually covering up his eyes. So what I want to do now, he soaked for the whole night, skin come off. I'm taking him to a show today, so what I want to do is I'm going to transfer him from here to here, and I'm going to get the skin out and show you guys exactly what's going on. So and how well soaking this animal worked. Let me get ready here. Uh, when he comes out, just take the lid, dust it, and just yes, sir. throw it over. I know Kobe, he's not in a good mood. <laughs> That's a cobra. All right, Kobe. Okay. So now, like I said, I'm gonna bring him up, put him in here, okay. and just don't slam him in. There we go, Kobe. How you doing, here, baby? Come here. Oh, look at that. He looks a whole lot better. There we go. 
There you go. There you go. Close them up. There we go. Monocle cover secured. Now, this is some of the skin that was left on them. What I'm really glad to see is that uh, he didn't have any eye caps, so that's good. This is just the excess skin that was left on his body. So, it's really good. And like I said, this works really well as far as for soaking any kind of snake. I do it with my ball pythons. Uh, even with some of my rattlesnakes, that just have a hard time shedding. Um, works great. And there you go. All of his skin is off now. He's nice and pretty and ready to go do a program. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll keep posting videos as we begin to work with more of these animals. Thanks again. You guys have a good one.